Hey guys, so today's video is going to be everything that I have for my guinea pigs. So let's jump right into today's video. I am going to share with you guys what is inside of the guinea pig cages first. So over here we have a benzene secret to make a hay rack. And you may notice I discarded their litter box. That is because they only use it 50-50% and I need to get more pee pads for it as we don't have much newspaper. And right underneath their hay rack, we have a pee pad. This just helps when the guinea pigs are eating their hay, they normally pee and poop like normal. And it just helps so then I can just change it out frequently without the fleece being wet. Right over here, we have a Oxbow Timothy Carrot. And we also have the famous hammock that Willow absolutely loves to sleep in. And I did see Ginger sleep in it a couple days ago. On top of the hammock, I just have the grid, which is holding the hammock and a fleece to cover up when they sleep in the hammock. Next to that, they have their Ikea doll bed. Both of these girls absolutely love their doll bed. They both jump on top of it when they want food in the morning and they also both sleep under it which is wicked cute she just popcorned <laughs> and underneath of the ikea doll bed we just have a microfiber rug and we also have a little apple chew stick and then we have their living world water bottle with a little drip hand underneath and under the ramp, we just have a snuggle sack, which they just sleep on top of it. This one isn't really propped open as much. Going up the ramp to their little second level, or loft, we have this little bendy bridge. The guinea pigs love this bendy bridge so much, and it just looks so natural, and I'm so glad I found it. And we have a you and me, um, I think this is from Paco a little barbell chew, an oxbow timothy hay twist, and this was an oxbow hay mat. I, I don't know what to do with it. They kind of destroyed it. Um, yeah, I don't know what happened. And then for the fleece, I just have a microfiber mat because I think this is just so cute and it fits on the second level. And the girls are on a turtle fleece. Moving on to Angel, we have her food dish. And then her water bottle and her hay rack and this bigger pee pad. Here's Miss Angel. Boop. We have the KT Truffle Fit. Hi. KT Truffle. Bleh. I cannot say this. KT Tropical Fiddlesticks. Hi. And then this is from PetSmart, I believe. The guinea pigs love the willow ball. And especially her, she loves to push it around. Over here, we have a cat jingly ball. These are actually from the Dollar Tree from Abby's Animals Giveaway. And we also have a Oxbow Apple, I believe this was. Next to that, we just have a microfiber mat and a snuggle sack that I made. Moving on to Wrangler's cage. His litter box is supposed to be like this, but he likes to move it and it's really funny, but it's annoying at the same time. So over here we have, hi buddy, a jingly ball. This one's just a different color. He likes to push it around too. A pee pad, his water bottle, hi buddy. An oxbow, um, hi, I think these are rings. Hello. Hi. And then we have his oxbow tunnel, which he loves to sleep in. It's definitely his favorite spot. And I just have a pee pad underneath it because it does have a bottom. We have an apple stick, which I, I guess he enjoys. The girls don't really enjoy these. And then we just have an oxbow mat. I did attach the rings, but apparently he took them off. He's sniffing me. <laughs> um, we have the... Living World, I believe. I don't know what brand this is. From PetSmart. Um, Hammock. He loves these. He's all over me right now. And then we have a microfiber mat. Above Wrangler's cage, we have their veggie bowls. And we also have some fleeces that we can hold them on. 
And on the girl's loft, I just keep the vacuum. Before I get more in depth with my fleeces, these are just some fleece, extra fleece pads and things that I didn't sew. And then there are two buckets full of scraps. Then I just have their six cube storage unit, which I keep my fish tank on it. Inside this basket, I keep all of their food. So we have Wrangler's food. It's running low, but he's gonna be calm six months. So we're not gonna have to buy the young guinea pig food soon. And then I just got the KT guinea pig food because it was the cheapest right now for me. We have their forage, they're gonna be weakening. That's okay. Their vitamin C tabs, their pea flakes, of course the fish food, <laughs> and then extra vitamin C tabs. And this second one, it definitely is a mess because I have no way of organizing this. So this has cleaning and health supply. So extra binder clips, their water vinegar solution, paper towels, their scale, anything health related or cleaning related is in here. Right below that, we just have a bunch of just random fleeces, random fleece pads. So they're not in, I won't focus, not in any specific order. Down here, I believe we have extra bigger fleece pads and also fleece tunnels. In this one, we have all of their toys and also their tunnels. So the toys are at the bottom and the tunnels are more towards the top. And right below that in here, I just keep all their snuggle sacks. I have a ton. Now onto the highs and stuff in my closet. In this basket, I keep all their fleeces that fit their cage now. So we have the daisies, the polka dots, these arrows and other fleeces that I have never used yet because I haven't sewn pee pads for them yet. So hopefully we can use those for the new cage. So next we have their elephant hide. Inside their elephant hide, I also have their strawberry house. It doesn't really stay up because it's old and it's been washed so many times. And we also have the Christmas tree hidey. And these actually came off in the wash. So I will probably be getting another one this year for Christmas because these fell off and I have no idea where they went. And of course their elephant hide. I haven't used this in like forever, but Angel really adores this. We have the dustpan and broom, I guess it's dirty. I don't even know what that is. It looks like lettuce to be honest. We have the carrier that Willow came in when I got her and I use this when we go to the vet. We don't really need anything too big unless we're traveling. We'll just use laundry baskets. Next we have, these are heavy. I might toss this one because it's still, it's plastic, but it's hard plastic. But this is a tree trunk hide, a, this is hard to hold, a KT a small hide with a window in it. And then a bigger hide, and this one is from Petco. And then here I just have the girl's litter tray, which is of course on top of the hay because it fits. And this is the hay. We have all of the fleeces. So these are Christmas ones. So I just have a whole bunch of fleeces that actually fit the cage and this is gonna topple. And the only last things that I have is this guinea pig journal and of course my guinea pig binder which is super helpful when I write down the guinea pig's weights. So that is it for today's video. I really hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you guys in my next video.